Are you looking for the best spy glasses? I've been wanting to do some videos that I needed spy glasses for, for here on this channel. And so I got spy glasses with a video camera right in the bridge of the thing there, and it came in the mail. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and I, I buy to make videos here on the channel. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So like I said, these spy glasses have the video camera on the inside. So uh, I think that these are going to be some good uh, spy video camera glasses. And I kind of was looking on Amazon to see like which ones were the best spy glass video camera camera things and I went to YouTube and I started searching like people actually using the glasses to show the quality and from what I could understand these seem to be the best ones right here so I'm really curious to kind of test them out and see how well they work it just says HD video camera uh, sunglasses on there so it, it does do HD video and it's, it, they look like sunglasses uh, which is something that I wanted as well Cardboard box, open it up, open it up. What does it say on the side here? T Towero camera glasses, 1080p mini video glasses camera made in China. So let's see what we got in here. First, you got a little uh, USB cord there. Looks like it runs off a micro USB port. You guys can see the old GoPros used to run on that. I have a few of these from old GoPros and just a regular USB port. I'm assuming that that's to transfer your files once you take video and also to charge it because obviously there's going to be a battery in there somewhere. Oh, wow. This is fancy. A little case and everything. Okay, look, we got a little book right here camera glasses user guide right there. Got the glasses pictured. Let's see what we got in here. USB charge, so connect the product to the PC via the data cable to read the contents. The SD card slot is right there. Okay, remove the SD card slot and use the card reader to read the content. Okay, SD card not included. SD card only supports 32 gigs at most. So uh, you don't need anything above that, like a 64 or 128. You won't get more out of it. Product design, there's a function button, on off button, USB port, reset button, and the indicator light, which shows whenever it's it's charging and whenever the use status, status use, it says use status colon blue. I'm assuming that means that whenever it's actually recording, but I'm not positive. There's a function button, take a photo, you press for one second, or a video recording, you press for three seconds. Okay. Here, if you guys want to pause the video and read a little bit more about this, I'm not going to go through all this with you guys. I just kind of wanted to go through some of the basic functionality of it right there, but that's uh, a little bit there. And then look, here's more of the uh, specs and whatnot on it. Y'all can see it in this graph here. And if y'all want to pause the video and record and, uh, and read any of that, y'all can do that as well. Uh, and there's a couple of Oh, this is, looks like warnings and maybe troubleshooting type of stuff right here. So if you guys need any of that information as well, I am curious. Let me see how long the battery. It's an AVI format, stereo USB 2, 32 gig JPEG picture format. Ooh, this is interesting. It says that it supports Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. It does not say anything about a Mac. And that's mainly what I use. So that'll be an interesting test as well. And then there's a thank you for your order. If you want to contact us, you can contact us right there. Let's get into this sunglasses camera thing. Look at this. It comes in a nice little case. Hard case. I like that so that it stays more, uh, it doesn't get beat up or whatever. It even has a little carabiner clip. It's just a little plastic one on the side there. But that's great if you want to like hook it onto a backpack or something like that. I really like that. It's got a zipper. On the front here, unzip that, open that up right there. Let's see, it looks like it comes with a little lens cleaning cloth. That's both probably to clean the camera lens and to clean the eyepiece lens. Then it does come nice and wrapped up in the bag here. Although it does say, it says sunglasses on here, right? HD video camera sunglasses. Uh, sun's gonna be able to get through that. <laughs> I don't know if they accidentally didn't put the lenses in there if they're just clear lenses and they didn't make that okay so on here though it says camera glasses right there but on the box it says camera sunglasses 
So there's a little bit of confusion there with the marketing that they uh, that they have going on. Let me open this up real quick, and I'm just gonna kind of flip. It doesn't have any other diagrams or anything. Okay, so let's let's see what we actually have here. It's in a nice little bag. I like that. Oh, they have a nice feel to them. I like the texture. It's almost like velvety, like that soft rubber. That's what I get from them. Okay, so uh, just looking at them first, it's definitely got a thick band on here. Obviously, you have to be able to put uh, you know components in there, batteries and whatnot. Uh, this is where the USB port plugs in right there. So you'll be able to uh, get a charge to it and to transfer your data. There's a couple of buttons right here that I'm feeling. I need to kind of read into that. And it looks like that's the little light right there that they were talking about, that indicator light. Um, opening it up, let's see, the, the USB port is kind of crazy. It's right here on the side of the sunglasses, like right before where the, the dent is. Y'all see that little cavity right there? That's where the USB uh, micro USB card goes in. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything on the other side. I'm assuming that's they may have like some wires going over here and they have some more components in there. That's my guess. I really like the texture of these. It's like super soft. So looking at this, your camera is this little dot right here. So all everything that's going to be picked up is going to be from right there. I don't know where the microphone is. Is that I'm, I don't know if it's a part of the camera or if it's uh, hidden somewhere else on here. I need to figure that out because I don't want to accidentally like be grabbing these and taking them off and covering a microphone. So I need to figure out where the microphone is. But it just has uh, regular old lenses there. It's not... It's not uh, sunglasses. I was kind of hoping for sunglasses, although if I do decide that I want to go indoors and do some shooting, uh, this would be a nice little like spy type of thing going on. I actually like the look of them too. I don't know, they got kind of that like... Like I'm a, I'm a nerdy high tech guy kind of thing going on. So uh, as far as look, I think actually out of all the ones that I looked at, I liked these the most. Um, there were some other ones that were more uh, like uh, sporty looking. So if you did want to get those, by the way, I'll link these up down in the description below. If you guys want to go and check them out, y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. I'm just one guy literally <laughs> unboxing it for you guys and showing you everything that I see here. Um, but I did find some other sporty ones too that if you are going for more of that sporty look and may, I think they may have been actual sunglasses too. I'll link up those down in the description below as well just to give you guys kind of two that I was looking at. Uh, but I, I just, I like the look of these better so I decided to go with these. Now these two buttons here, it doesn't say anything. Like there's no plus or minus. There's no, oh, 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 the light turned on. So I'm, I don't know if I just powered it on. I just pressed the button. I have no clue if it took a picture, but I don't have an SD card in there, so nothing would have... You can see, you can actually see the chip the uh, that reads the SD card. Y'all probably can't see it with the... Okay, there it is. Y'all see it? The green chip right there? That's where uh, your SD card sits. Let's see, my light's on. I don't know what that means. I have no clue if we're recording. <laughs> But this is fun. So what I have an idea for, for the coming a video coming in this channel, is that I have an old Craftsman tape measure, and I want to see if the lifetime warranty is still good on it. So I figured I could go to like Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever, I could put the glasses on, and I can bring them, and we can do like this whole unedited, go into the store, will they honor the lifetime warranty? That's what I want to do. That's the idea that I have for these glasses. And also just for like, uh, whenever I do my other channel, our travel channel, I can, uh, I can, you know, not have to hold the camera and I can have my hands. I don't have like a stupid GoPro attached to me and whatnot. Uh, I'm curious to know what the quality of this thing is going to be for that particular purpose. I'd be curious to know, have you guys ever, um, I played around with any of these like hidden camera, spy camera uh, type of technology before. I remember Google Glass from a long time ago. Uh, that was like, gosh, that was like five years, maybe even longer than that time ago. And uh, that was really, really cool technology. I never got a chance to have like a hands-on with it, but I just thought it was just a little too futuristic, I think, for, for some people. Now, there was talk about Apple having some Apple glasses coming out soon, so that could be something on the horizon that will probably be a lot better than this. So I'm kind of curious to watch this space uh, in the next, I don't know, year or two to see if if anything comes to fruition uh, as far as like glasses with cameras built into them because I think that that's kind of some cool technology there. 
If you guys want to see some of the other camera reviews that I've... Actually, no, if you guys want to see the video test of this, I'm going to do a video test of it, and I'm going to put it right here on the screen. If you guys want to see, like, me testing this thing out, click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated. Share this video with someone on Facebook. Ring that bell next to the subscribe button so that you get reminded of our new videos. And dad out.